the truth comes from? Allah. So the Khalifa is sent on earth to rule on the basis of the truth which has come from Allah. And Allah informed the angels, this is why I'm sending mankind on earth. Inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifa. And now he sends the khalifa. And the state is established for the first time in history. We call it the Khilafah state. They call it the holy state of Israel. So this is truly a historic moment in history when the Khilafah state is established for the first time and Allah's Khalifa is ruling. And then his son succeeds him and the masjid is built and it becomes the ruling state in the world. And this Banu Israel who follow them Nabi Dawood and Nabi Suleiman they are ruling the world this is their golden age imagine that Allah has ordained this and then something happened and everything fell down what is it that happened don't look for the answer in CNN look for the answer in the Quran the answer is there in the Qur'an, if we will take a little time to study the Qur'an. It's there in the Qur'an. Everything collapsed for them. What was it? Nabi Sulaiman alayhi salam sees a vision. Allah says in Surah Al-Sa'd, وَلَقَدْ فَتَنَّا Sulaiman. Allah caused him to see something which caused distress for him, fitna. What did he see? وَأَلْقَيْنَا عَلَى كُرْسِيهِ جَسَدْ We have a Hafiz here? We have any more Hafiz? Only one? So if I make any mistake, and correct, correct me if I, I'm not correctly representing the Qur'an. وَأَلْقَيْنَا عَلَى كُرْسِيهِ جَسَدْ And Allah cast on his kursi. That's a kursi there, a chair, for us. But for a king, it's called a throne. <laughs> a throne. So Allah cast on his throne or placed on his throne a jasad. A jasad is a being, a body without a soul. And when he saw that jasad, that Allah had shown him in the vision, it terrified him to such an extent, it caused him such distress. He immediately turned to Allah in penitence. And then he prayed to Allah. And he said to Allah kindly, forgive me, because any time you want to ask something from Allah, first you seek forgiveness. And then he asked. But the dua that he now asks is the most extraordinary dua in all of history. There's never been a dua like this. What did he ask for? Wahabli. Mulkan la yambagi li ahadim min ba'di. Grant me a kingdom that can belong to none after me, that cannot be inherited by any after me. Implication. I want my kingdom, my Khilafah state to end when I die. No one must inherit it. This has to be something terrible, 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 terrible that he saw. Frightening him so much, what was it that he saw? That he should make this to us. 
there's only one answer to it, only one, I'm afraid. No more searching for another. He saw that the Jasad sitting on his throne was number one a terribly evil being and number two that he wants to inherit my kingdom. Is it so difficult to understand that? Okay. And he did not want that to happen. And so he made this dua and Allah accepted the dua. And the Khilafah still ended when he died. And the Israelite people were left in a state that was traumatized. Imagine that. The Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam dies and he said, as soon as he died, the Islamic state of Medina collapses, everything falls apart. Can you imagine the pain, the suffering, the shock? It was in that context that Allah then sent something to them to bring comfort to their hearts. That I will send someone who will be al-Masih and he will be a prophet to you and the golden age will come back. This was meant to bring comfort to their hearts because Allah accepted the dua of Sulaiman This is the origin of the concept of Al-Masih. So who is that Jasad? Who is to come in history? Who is an evil being and who wants to inherit the throne of Suleiman alayhi salam, the holy state of Israel, and to rule over the world the way Suleiman alayhi salam ruled over the world. My answer is Dajjal. If you have another answer, then you should show some integrity and publish it. Let the world know, let all of Britain know this is your, if you have any courage in you, if you have any courage if you have any courage and integrity in you then open your mouth and say no I disagree the just said cannot be the child it must be this or that or the other okay so then my my answer is the job mm. but if you interpret the Quran you must always say Allah Allah knows mistakes. Because you could make mistakes. Yeah. This is our tradition. So I say the Jasad is the Jal. Allahu Alam. But I will not explain the Quran to you unless I am convinced that I am correct. If I am not convinced that I am correct, go back and do the homework before you come and teach the people. 